see the hummingbirds like to drink from the long throated flowers. The bees, when they get inside, they like the, the broad, flat flowers. The bees. <laughs> and they lighten them and wallow till they're all covered over with yellow. Watch. See which direction they go. A tree. That's good. Sometimes they hide among the rocks, and there's little you can do. Now, oh. it's best to wait until dark. Well, then all the swarm will be inside the hive. How will you move the hive? Once all the bees have gone to their rest, I'll, uh, I'll blow a bit of smoke into the hive, keep them stunned. And then wrap it in my bag. And then once we return home, you'll see. I'll place it in a bee gum, and come in the morning, the bees will venture out, looking around for the nearest flowers. Won't they realize they aren't in their proper place? Hmm. What do they do about it? Well, there's no means to find their way back, and no home left here to come back to. Ah. Now, they'll be content. <clears throat> in their new home. They have a home. I don't know which to replace your father. He was a good man. I feel disloyal to him even being here with you. I'm grateful to him. He raised you for your mother's sake, a child of another man. A man he had no cause to love. He stood by you both. And he loved you. Even though he did not see himself in you. I had to give you to him. Oh, I can't say I'm sorry you came back to me. Sure I'm not a bree? Disturbance, huh? Murder told me. <laughs> Aye, you are. As was your mother before you, but... You're one of welcome. You're my flesh and blood. Since you returned to me, I'm finding you're my... my heart and soul as well. So... I will keep calling you Bree. If you don't mind it. I don't know what to call you. You can call me Da, if you like. Da, is that Gaelic? No, it's only, it's only simple. 